In this What I Eat In A Day video, I'm gonna share with you some awesome recipes that are vegan, gluten-free, high protein as usual, but they're also high in calcium and other awesome bone building minerals. For me, building strong bones is very, very important and it should be to you as well. I'm also going to share with you how I have increased my bone density by 5.2% on a plant-based diet over the last several years. Pretty exciting. I'll also share with you a little bit about a rare genetic bone disorder I have, how it affects my bones, and also why it makes my eyes the color that they are. More to come on that, let's get into this totally yummy breakfast. All right, let's make some super chocolatey, super filling and satiating chocolate protein oats. It's one of my favorite recipes of all time for breakfast, so let's go. We're gonna add some water to a pot with a little tiny pinch of salt, and we're gonna bring some sprouted gluten-free rolled oats up to a boil. You don't have to use sprouted, but it's my favorite because they're higher in protein. Then we're gonna add some sliced banana to the oats as they cook, just for a little extra sweetness, plus, you know, a little bit of that extra potassium. And then once they are, you know, almost done, maybe about three or four minutes away from being cooked to your liking, then I add a couple scoops of my favorite chocolate protein powder. You can check out the brand I love below in the description. And then you're just gonna stir that all in. And if you find that your oats are a little bit too dry from the protein powder, which sometimes happens for me, I like to add a little bit of soy milk. Now, if I have the fresh fruit, I add the fresh fruit. So today was sliced bananas and sliced strawberries because why not? Chocolate goes with banana. Chocolate also goes with strawberries. So that is just what I was feeling today. I split that pot of oatmeal with Brad. So I took a slightly smaller portion and gave him a little more because his calorie needs are a little bit higher than mine. And then I like to top it with some hemp seeds for some of those healthy omegas. I added some shredded coconut for fiber and also because coconut is flipping delish. And then I love my crunchy cacao nibs and I added some chia seeds for extra healthy fats, extra omegas, and that is it. That's how simple my breakfast is. It takes less than 30 minutes to make most mornings and depending on the toppings I add, it's just like magic in a bowl. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why I've decided to make a video about like building strong bones on a plant-based diet and the reason is actually pretty personal to me and it's not something I've really ever talked about on the internet before and it's not really something I talk about in my everyday life but uh, I basically have a, a rare genetic bone disorder, it's something I was born with and it runs in my family, and it's called osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a mouthful. And basically what it means, it's called brittle bone disease. It's unlikely you've ever met someone with it as it's pretty rare, about one in every 10 to 20,000 people worldwide are affected by it. What it is, is OI is a, is a condition that affects the gene in your body that's responsible for building strong bones, muscles, ligaments, tendons, and it mostly affects your collagen production. Either it's, you know, mutated or it's not, it's not right. It's, it's kind of like malformed. So therefore it affects the quality of, you know, the density of your bones that can affect your eyes, your hair, your skin, your teeth. I have the mildest form of OI. Um, I haven't experienced very many bone fractures or breaks in my life, um, which is something that a lot of people with OI can't say. It's very common to, um, break your bones very easily, you know, just by playing sports or, um, or for some people who have uh, more severe types of OI, uh, you can't even walk. You, a lot of people are wheelchair bound and they are short in stature. And uh, I'm incredibly blessed that I have honestly been able to live practically a completely normal life living with OI. That being said, there are ways it has affected me. I have broken my bones in my life. Uh, I've broken my collarbone. I've had a few cracked ribs from go-karting. <laughs> That's another story for another day. Um, but I've more, than, more or less been able to live a pretty normal life. Um, another interesting fact about OI that I guess I could say is cool, if I can say that there's anything cool about OI, is that um, it also affects the color of my eyes, um, which is a very common trait among people with OI, in that the sclera of my eyes, which is the white part of your eyes, it is actually, uh, it appears blue, which you may have noticed, 
may not have noticed. You may have thought, Janelle has really blue eyes. It's because the sclera in my case is thinner because of my lack of collagen production in my body. Therefore, it exposes underlying veins in my eyes, which makes them appear really blue. That is not a filter. That is just the color of my eyes. They're very, very blue. Everyone in my family who has OI, which are several people in my family have the exact same eyes, which is really cool. Pretty much the only advice I've ever gotten in my life is make sure you drink lots of milk to build calcium and uh, take calcium supplements and you'll be fine. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's pretty much just the advice I've gone on my whole life. Um, but now that I'm an adult, I'm in my 30s, I am wanting to really make sure that I'm doing a good job at taking care of my body because things aren't going to get easier for me as I grow older. Um, I'm more prone to getting osteoporosis, osteopenia, which is like a thinning of the bones. So long story short, being on a plant-based diet has completely blown my mind at actually how how much calcium, how much potassium, magnesium, manganese you can get in a plant-based diet. And those are all bone building and like ligament and joint supporting, collagen boosting minerals that are so essential to not only people like me who have OI, but just to anyone. You know, people don't talk about the importance of building strong bones. And it's something that has become really important to me in my life. And so, Kind of the whole focus of this episode is to not only show you all the delicious vegan gluten-free meals that I'm eating, but also I wanna show you um, roughly like how much calcium and magnesium and manganese and potassium and a whole bunch of other minerals that I can get in my diet every single day um, really easily. And so if building strong bones is something that is important to you or you know someone in your life who it's important to, definitely, um, let me know, subscribe below, because if this is interesting to you guys, I can definitely do more videos um, on this topic in the future. So thank you guys for listening so far to what I've had to say. I know this has been a bit of a long ramble. Um, I will talk more about it later in the video, but for now, I am going to go eat this delicious flippin' breakfast you guys saw me make. I love my protein oats, they are so good. And I'll definitely share below in the video description, like roughly how much of these bone building minerals and vitamins are in each meal. So you can get an idea of how um, wonderful a plant-based diet can be for building strong bones. Mm. 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 Hey! <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna be doing a lower body exercise called decelerator. <sighs> that running, whoa. That took out, took, took my breath away. <laughs> so there's a few reasons why this kind of workout has become um, pretty important to me uh, as I've been, I don't know, getting more fit. One is that decelerator helps to uh, build your, your landing muscles. It's all about like intense, explosive movements, but also mastering the landing so you don't hurt yourself. That's usually where people get hurt, and that's usually where I get hurt. Historically speaking in my life, I am the most injury prone in my ankles. I have injured my ankles so many times in my life that I have caused like permanent tendon and ligament damage. So for me, I really want to be focusing on improving the strength of my tendons, ligaments, joints in my ankles and my feet, but also in my bones, in my lower body and in my hips, because that is where I've experienced um, some bone density loss. But, but the good news is that through lots of intense exercise and healthy eating over the last several years, I have actually increased my bone density in my hips and in my spine by like five and seven percent, which may not sound like a lot, but that is huge for someone who has OI to increase your bone density. Like, I didn't even know it was possible. I really didn't. So that really like jazzes me up. Yeah, man, let's improve that bone density. Let's improve those ligaments and tendons. And let's get rid of my weak ass little ankles. I want them to be strong. <laughs> 
Today's lunch is this totally epic and super easy to whip up mushroom and broccoli quinoa bowl. Full of healthy, whole food plant-based ingredients that are packed with bone-building minerals and vitamins. So we're gonna start by slicing and dicing up some onions, some garlic, some mushrooms, and some broccoli. Get that prep work out of the way. And then we're going to saute those onions and garlic in some water if you're oil-free like myself. Or you can use a tablespoon of oil. Then we're gonna add in some mushrooms and the broccoli and some smoked paprika for a little bit of flavor. Gonna let those saute down for a few minutes, just get a little bit soft. Then we're gonna add some rinsed brown lentils and quinoa followed by some veggie broth for them to cook in and a can of coconut milk for extra creaminess and delicious flavor and texture. Give it all a good stir and you're just gonna let that simmer away until they are fully cooked. Of course, add some extra salt and pepper if it needs it, it usually does, and also salt and pepper is life. Lentils and quinoa alone are so chocked full of magnesium, manganese, potassium. Those are really great for building bones and also maintaining really healthy connective tissues, joints, ligaments. These are all things I really didn't know before. And now, now I know, and now you know. This recipe is just so comforting. It's so cozy, it's so quick, so nutritious, and it's really, really filling. Totally a great weeknight meal. Only takes like 30 minutes or less, and you got something delicious. Well, that was fun and actually very, very quick. And not a lot of effort was required, which was nice because I'm kind of exhausted. And uh, yeah, this little quinoa lentil veggie bowl, I don't know what I'm calling it. It's just a big bowl of, well, let's be real. It doesn't look that pretty. We can admit that, but, but it tastes, tastes very good. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going on about seven years now eating plant-based and my bone density has increased, which is like flipping crazy to me. I really had no idea that I could do it. I just didn't know. And this plant-based diet really has like shockingly proven to me that you can, in your 20s and in your 30s, you can build your bone density on a plant-based diet. Burrito bowls are a staple recipe for me. I make them probably once every week or so because they're so versatile and you can add so many different ingredients to your dish depending on what you have available. So I love using sweet potatoes in my burrito bowls because they're sweet and sweet and spicy is always a good combo. So we're just going to chop up one medium to large-ish sweet potato, set it aside, put it in a bowl, and then we're going to also prepare some tofu. I like to chop them up into kind of you know thick-ish chunks you know, about an inch or so and then we gotta make it taste good so we're gonna add all the seasonings we're gonna add some garlic powder some smoked paprika some cumin some chili powder and of course some nutritional yeast some soy sauce for savory flavor a little bit of avocado oil if you want to help things kind of crisp up a little bit as they cook now we're just going to spread all of that deliciousness onto a lined baking tray we're gonna let that cook for about 40 minutes or so until it comes out looking something like this, nice and golden around the edges, crisped up a little bit here and there, very delicious. While that's all cooking in the oven, we're gonna make this Mexican rice dish on the stove. So we're gonna use some either fresh canned or frozen corn, a few cans of black beans, some seasonings. We're gonna give that all a really good mix until the beans and the corn have pretty much heated through. They're a little bit nice and steamy. And then we're going to add in some cooked rice. This is great if you have cooked rice left over from the previous day. It's a great way to use up leftovers. And then to season it, we're just going to simply add some salsa. It could not get easier. Canned salsa is your friend. And then, of course, if you have extra greens, you can add them in now. I had some spinach that needed to get used up, so I added it into the rice dish. And now you have pretty much all of the makings of a burrito bowl. I like to eat this in tortillas, but today was just kind of a bowl situation, so I added extra spinach to the bowl, topped it with the rice concoction, added some sweet potato potatoes and the tofu and then you can add other toppings to it as you desire like avocado, some cilantro, extra salsa or sour cream, whatever your little heart desires. Oh, the burrito bowl. I love that there's like a thousand ways that you can make a burrito bowl. You know, you can pretty much just look around your kitchen, see what veggies or root vegetables are kicking around, what needs to get used up, and you can turn it into a burrito bowl. Like sweet potatoes in a burrito bowl? What? But yes, yes, it works all the time. And I do this 
all the time. What kind of bone building minerals and vitamins are in this meal? Well, let me tell you. We got black beans, chock full of calcium, potassium, magnesium, manganese. We got spinach, which also has calcium, vitamin K, vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, manganese. We got sweet potato, which is chock full of vitamin A and potassium and vitamin C and manganese. It's a manganese party. <laughs> and we got some creamy, dreamy avocado, which of course has lots of potassium, magnesium, vitamin C. It's all good stuff, you guys. It's all good. And uh, I feel like how could you not build strong bones and healthy ligaments and joints and tendons when you're eating plant-based. Like, there's just so much goodness, you guys. So much goodness. Mmm. Thank you guys so much for just letting me share a little bit about my story with, you know, having osteogenesis imperfecta and, you know, how I live with it, how I thrive with it, and how I get lots of bone and, and uh, joint, ligament, tendon, collagen supporting. Uh, nutrients and minerals in my everyday diet. It's really easy and I hope that the meals I've shown you today um, for one made you drool and make you want to eat them but also show you how easy it is to get all these good nutrients and minerals in a healthy whole food plant-based diet. It's what I'm all about. I'm about the high protein. I'm about building strong muscles, building strong bones. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel. I don't want you to miss out on some awesome content that could help you in the future. And that's it. Thank you again for tuning in. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.